So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most absurd way of getting clients that I have ever seen. This is how you can send fully automated outbound DMs on a platform called School. Because I'm going to be honest, everyone is sending Instagram messages, Facebook messages, cold emails, and I get pitched about 10 times a day on Instagram. So if you're using these outdated methods to try and get clients, it's never going to work. So the reason this is so insane of what I'm going to be sharing with you today is because it's completely untapped. Secondly, it's free, so you don't even need to pay for anything. And thirdly, you don't even need to spend time sending these outreach messages because what I'm going to show you is a system that can do it fully automated. Now, this is one of the craziest outreach methods yet. I cannot wait to get into it. So yeah, um, as you can see, I've got a Google Doc explaining the instructions. So yeah, essentially, I'm going to show you how you can send infinite but automated personalized outreach messages to your niche for free. Like it does not get any crazier than this. So I'm pretty confident this video will blow up because firstly, no one's doing it. And secondly, it's untapped. So make sure you implement this strategy quick before everyone starts doing it. And essentially, the plan right is to send automated DMs so for free to either a booked call so meaning that we send the dms with the call to action being to get on a meeting or the other option is to actually funnel people into your free group or paid group if it's low ticket this probably won't work if you're sending a high ticket thing in the dms um, but either a booked call free group and then the goal should be to educate and give value and then you can sell them on your high ticket offer so first of all, right, let's get into this. Um, the first step is to actually find a free or low paid um, group in your niche on school. So the pros of a paid group, and let me show you exactly right now um, what you need to do. So you would go to discover communities in which you can see a bunch of groups from various you know, niches and industries. And there's actually a tab here of what you can look for. So if you're an e-commerce, you can click this and you can literally find people who are e-com owners. Um, likewise, if you're working with coaches or real estate, there's also these types of groups. Um, yeah, finance, real estate, gaming, sports, pretty much every single niche you can imagine. And in these groups are going to be your ideal client profiles. So let's just say we wanna target coaches. If we go to business, um, or let's say agency owners, for example, to make it easy. Um, what you can do is you can find groups in which there's 23,000 members that you can literally pitch. So these are 23,000 leads, as you can see right here, for free, basically. So what we need to do, right, is we need to get into one. Now, if I were to just search this group, because I've already planned ahead for this video, we can essentially click on here, go to members, and here's like a bunch of leads, right, of people who are agency owners or mostly agency owners in AI. Um, yeah, but you could also find groups for coaches or whatever niche you're in really. My point is just to demonstrate how this works and how this automated system works. So then you can replicate it and get create, uh, creative on it. So what you need to do now is once you've found a group of your niche, um, let's go back to the instructions. Um, and by the way, you can actually pay to get into groups in which the barrier to entry is higher, which will equal a greater lead quality, meaning that if you actually pay to get into a group, um, the quality of the leads is going to be way higher because you're going to be targeting people who have also paid. So for example, if we find a real estate group on um, on here, right, if we go to, I, I won't click it, but you get the point. If we um, go to a real estate group and it's paid, let's say $10 a month or $20 a month, and your ideal clients in that group, then if you pay, it's gonna make the whole process even uh, better and work better, but free is completely fine. Um, so now you need to use Axiom, Phantom Buster, Bardeen, or other automated web scraping softwares to get the leads into a Google Sheets. That is the objective of step two. So it's very simple. Step one, you find a free or low paid group in your niche. Step two is you wanna use a no code automated software um, Axiom.ai is great, Phantom Buster is great. I'm personally gonna demonstrate Bardeen right now um, on how you would use this. And I'm actually gonna build the playbook for you so you can actually see a live walkthrough of what this would look like. Um, and the whole plan is to get these leads into a Google Sheets because if we can get all your niche or your leads into a Google Sheets, um, then that gives us the ability to run a macro recorder or a automated um, you know, outreach method 
to it basically so we can actually send these dms so yeah if it sounds complicated it's not i'm going to walk you through everything don't worry keep watching um yeah and make sure you actually implement this what after the video basically because most people won't even take action so yeah um yeah and it's also good for follow-ups if you have it in a google sheet nicely organized so what you would do right is you would go to your group um or whoever you want to message um and you then also you want to make sure you find a group with um that have the chat on because some groups don't have the chat on um so obviously you would want to find groups with you know you can chat to but essentially then you would want to click on the software either bardeen or um axiom or phantom bus you can see i've got multiple different ones up here but you would click it and what this is going to do is it's going to open um this and right now we're on a software called bardeen um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create our own without code. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, essentially, you need to add a trigger. So what we're going to do is we are going to click scrape. So scrape data on active tab. Um, and we're going to create a new scraper. So for example, we can see one of the focus tabs is uh, members, this one. Now, in terms of which one to pick, um, I've been testing this out and once again, I haven't fully figured this out yet. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know it's going to spark some creativity on how you can outreach using methods that haven't been used before because the people that win and I've analyzed a lot of people that make, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100k a month and one thing they are doing is not what everyone else is doing. So my goal of making this video was to actually um, give you some ideas of yeah, outreaching using automated softwares that haven't been seen before, basically. Um, so my point is to just demonstrate this, but then once again, you need to innovate and actually, you know, figure this out for yourself. Um, but if you were to click this and click start building, what we need to do is we need to give the software basically, you know, names on the page that it, when it repeats or when it plays back the, the workflow or the playbook, I should say, it's going to know what to actually scrape into the Google Sheets. So for example, we want the first name and we also want this tag because this tag, if we go here, we want infinite scroll as well because um, you can see we're on a page that looks like this. So infinite scroll because obviously we're scrolling down. Um, so now I should have actually clicked this now, but you go for get text, um, get data, and then this one would be um, get link. So now we've got the text and we should have that. So you can see that if we just call this link or whatever, but now the software knows what to scrape basically on an infinite scroll. So if we save this template and we go to here, now we just need to give it more information basically on what it should scrape. So, or how it should scrape it on the active tab. So number of list items to extract, um, for example, we can put, I don't know, 50, if we wanted to extract 50 leads, basically. Um, a number of pages, just put one. Usually there's about, yeah, one or two. Um, and the delay, you can put three seconds. So this is basically just telling it what to do. So um, you can basically set this to a thousand. If you want a thousand leads from the group into Google Sheets, you can just set this to a thousand. Um, number of pages to extract, you can put like 10. Um, but I just want to make this you know, as a demonstration, basically, so you can get creative with this. Uh, and then if you click done, now we've given that information, but now more importantly, we need to add the next step. So, which is a new action. Um, and what we want to do now is we want to click Google Sheets. So um, add text or add rows to Google Sheets. Um, obviously you would have wanted to create a Google Sheet already, but if you don't, you can basically click that. Um, but essentially, right, we want to, um, let's do add rows to Google Sheet. So connect. It's just connecting apps essentially. Um, I just sign in. Um, okay, for some reason that didn't work. Hopefully it works again. Okay, it works now for some reason. Um, you just wanna select. And once again, I'm building this from scratch to show you. I was meant to click the, I think I was meant to give it permission. So select all. Um, I mean, at least it's giving you a raw authentic view of this, of what you need to click. But now if you um, click plus, new action, now we can go to Google Sheets basically, uh, add text to Google Sheets, let's do this one. Um, so if we go for updated, so you wanna create a Google Sheet before this, but um, I don't know why it's not, it's being weird. So updates leads to uh, 
yeah, from school. So this is just a test one I made earlier to show you, but to the tab, you'd want um, basically this one, sheet one, um, and you can play around with this, but I just wanna show you how, how it, you know, the basic overview of it. Um, but insert uh, scope data and active tab, you'd want text. So it would get the text, but then also insert, um, you would want the link as well. So now what it should do is it should open the Google Sheets um, and it should put the text of the link. So if we go back here or back to the member section, which you can't really see, but if I were to click off this, you know what I mean, it's gonna put the name and the actual link. So in the Google Sheets, um, what it can do is then we can run the macro recorder. So we can basically run a software to click on the link and then message a personalized message. So that you just wanna click done. Um, and from this point, honestly, you probably could use Axiom or another software to actually auto DM, where it just DMs it automatically. But I'm just gonna use a macro recorder just to make it simple for you guys. Um, so then you would click done essentially. Um, you would name it whatever you want. So let's just say leads to Google Sheets, click save. Um, and then what you would do is you would essentially click it and it would basically run scrape data on active tab using the scraper template. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if this has done it correctly. It probably hasn't done it correctly because once again, I've spent like 10 minutes showing you how to do this. Whereas you'd probably need to sit down and play around with it and yeah, get creative with it. But if we view it, what it's done is it's put the name of the person and the link. So if we were to, for some reason it's being a bit weird, but um, essentially, right, if we were to copy this link into the URL like this, it should take us, okay, for some reason, I think there's a seven or maybe you need this dot here. I'm trying to get the dot. I don't know if this will work, but maybe it will. Okay, so now it's taken us to um, this guy's profile essentially. So you can imagine, right, if we had a bunch of, like if we had like, for example, um, let me grab this. Let's say we had like all these leads in here. This is what it would look like if you did the Bardeen scraper for like 50 leads or you set the thing to 50 leads. Um, ideally, we would wanna make this so the, your, you, the URL is actually clickable. Um, but for example, if we remove, um, let me go back quickly because I wanna not make this too complicated for you guys. But if we were to, let's just delete that and have that there. I don't know why it's not showing as a URL, um, which is a bit weird, but nonetheless, let me show you how the next step would work because now you've done that, you would ideally want to let the software put like thousands of leads in here for you. Just make sure that the URL, I mean, it doesn't have to be clickable because I can show you right now how to run this software, but yeah, that would be like ideal in a perfect scenario. But now, um, yeah, now we have the ability to run a macro recorder. So let me show you how this would work. So step three is very simple. You'd use Merger or Jitbit. These are the two softwares. If you're on MacBook, so I'm on a MacBook, you would use Merger. If you're on PC, you'd use Jitbit. Um, there's obviously other options, but yeah, Merger is probably the best if you're on Mac. So this allows us to send DMs fully automated with one click of a button. So you can use this for LinkedIn, Instagram, any software essentially, because yeah, this is how it works. So you'd go here, you would download it, you would then click it, so as you can see, right, this is what it will look like. It looks confusing, I promise you it's not. The playback, this part here, this is how many outreaches or how many repeats of a certain action you want. So if you wanna do 50 messages, you'd put 50. If you wanna do 100 messages, you'd put 100 and click enter. Um, now you'd also wanna put a key to start, stop recording. So I've just done command R. So you'd click command R. And what this does is it's gonna allow us to do one outreach and then we can basically play back the recording with command S, so you can uh, set this to command S, and then it's just gonna play it back 100 times. So it's literally gonna do 100 messages with one click of a button. Like I wasn't joking, by the way, it's insane. So how this works is if you were to go back to your Google um, Sheets here, and let's say we wanted to run this software, um, and let's just put this down here so we have um, a bunch of things. Um, ideally, we would actually want to um, do go into settings and go to keyboard shortcuts. 
so keyboard shortcuts um, and basically go to text and then put this as like, um, I don't know, example or something and then put your like personalized message basically. I don't know, are you? Uh, let's just put like pitch for example to show you what it does. But um, if we were to do that, so when we, actually I think there's even a better way to do this to be honest. Let's do like test, let's just put test. Um, so now if we go here, um, what we can do is we can actually, now one thing you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure you only have like the tab open um, and you also don't want to go on your phone while doing this because it will mess up the automation. But basically, if we shut all these tabs apart from the one we have open um, and on here, yeah, we've basically done this already. So we've set up the keyboard shortcuts if you're on Mac or just put the script you want in the Google Sheets. Um, so, yeah, that's that. We've also done the we've created a key for recording started and a key for playback started. Um, so now the playback will stop automatically after the number so it'll stop after 100 um, but I'm just going to show you quickly how this works otherwise we'll be you know you'll be watching this all day but I don't actually know how many messages you can send on LinkedIn without getting blocked I'm not trying to risk it but yeah I wouldn't send more than 50 at a time because most softwares or platforms Instagram Facebook LinkedIn they don't really let you send more than 50 per day but once again I don't know if Sam Ovens has blocked this um yeah for like more than 50 is what I'm saying but essentially how this would work because let's get to the point um, is you would have your cursor in the same spot. So for example, let's just put it on the S and quickly the reason we, why we put it on the same spot every time is because we want the, um, the, when the recording stops, we want it to run from the same place. So now if we do this, so if we click command R to start the recording, recording started and we go down and we control C, we then click this and then control V and click enter. Okay, it hasn't done it for some reason, but I just want to show you how this would work. You can then go back, um, put the thing on the S and then stop the recording. So commands, I think, are recording stopped. So now if we were to click command um, S, which would play back the recording, that is the part where it would run 100 times. So obviously you'd want to make sure this runs yourself first and then you can automate it with the macro recorder. So now if I click command S, Playback you can see I'm not actually touching anything on the keyboard and what it's going to do it's going to copy the URL obviously um okay so the reason this hasn't done it for this one is because Playback stopped. I'm stupid and once again you don't want to have more tabs open I left that tab open but Playback stopped. what so if you were to shut that tab and now essentially run the automation so if we were to go here and click command s Playback started. You can see that I'm not touching anything. It'll go down the list. It'll grab the URL and it'll place it into the um, yeah search bar and essentially search for it. Now, I know the link doesn't work, but that's not the point. My point is to just demonstrate how this can work. And then what you can do is it will go back to it and it would stop the recording. Um, so it would put it on the S, as you can see, and it would stop it. Um, now, if we just... Playback, stop. playback stopped. Okay, so I stopped it automatically, but my point is that you could easily get this to run 100 times with different URLs in each spot from the leads from the group. And you would basically have infinite personalized outreach messages um, with like one click of a button. And if you're wondering why we put the um, keyboard shortcuts is because if this, if the URL was working, the cursor would basically, we would just do, um, we'd go to the chat button in school and then click chat and then um, basically paste our message. So I think I put test. So if we were to put test and then spacebar, you can see that it'll convert it into pitch or this would be your actual pitch, by the way, not um, the, the words, but you get the point. My my goal of this video was once again, I think I mentioned earlier, but give you some ideas on how you can do this. Once again, I'm going to be constantly refining this and improving it. Um, and I'm also going to test if this can be done with personalized looms as well, which would be like absolutely crazy but yeah i'm gonna play around with this even more um so yeah subscribe and like the video because i'm gonna be constantly posting more and more videos to do with automation client acquisition appointment setting to help you guys for free as much on the channel so hit the subscribe button try to get me to 10,000 uh, subscribers and if you want this google doc then just dm me on instagram and i'll send it to you so you have the instructions um and everything like that so yeah take care and have an amazing rest of your day